I never get tired of colors, and this rose quartz is a color that really excites me because I don't know what it is. It has like a, a vintage feel, however it's modern too. And I love seeing big fields of this color. It just makes me feel good. I don't know what it is about it. I can't explain it, but I love this color. You have already recognized it's remarkably rich in texture. Designating texture. What do you mean texture? That's why it has such a silky texture. This is our heavy texture rose quartz. And this is our medium viscosity rose quartz. So the rose quartz is deep, it's just slightly darker. And so what's good about that now is if you're gonna be working with the two, they kind of contrast each other really nicely. So this is the rose quartz deep in our medium viscosity, and this is the heavy texture with the rose quartz medium over it. So I think a lot about colors just the way I do flavors. I was a chef in my previous life, but the way I blend colors in my mind is exactly the same way I blend flavors with food. And so I'm gonna kind of show how this rose quartz color blends with different colors. So the first one is, we're gonna mix it with the azo orange. And this is kind of the mother pigment of rose quartz actually. You kind of see, you get this nice, brilliant contrast, very earthy. And I love how you can see the variegated lines. So there's our heavy texture rose quartz. And I use this color a lot. This is our transparent yellow iron oxide. Look at that, I love this. I love the way those work together. You can see the, see the way that pink is glowing through where it's almost pink comes all the way out. So the next color we're gonna use the chartreuse. I'm not gonna put a lot on there because this is a little bit more opaque, so I want this to go in there kind of thin. And so it's gonna get a nice, look at that. So those sharp lines, you know, the, you gotta look for these little things when you're working with the paint. But if you, if you just see that, that just sharp contrast and difference of color. And this one's always a crowd pleaser, is our magenta. This one's gonna be really powerful over the top of this, because we want it to glow through the foundational color. Oh, look at that, it's alive, it's like electric. So it's kind of a journey while you're developing colors. And when I develop colors, I go back and forth between the lab and the studio, and I'm back and forth just trying to balance those out. And Again, I don't mean to be redundant using the word excited, but I get excited, and so when you see that contrast of that color, like I never really thought about using this turquoise color with the rose quartz, but look at that contrast. It's just, it just pops, and so you learn these things as you go. It almost has like a candy cane feeling in there, the way it pops against that blue. But yeah, so this rose quartz, it's highly versatile, I love it, and I think that it can have so many uses in different styles of painting. I particularly paint a lot of landscape painting, so it works really good in clouds. It works good on the horizon sometimes, but like if you see the one I was working on over here, I only used the rose quartz, titanium white, and yellow iron oxide. Those are the only three colors that I used in this entire painting. And so I did, I made the water with the titanium and the rose quartz, and it just comes out quite stunning in that monochromatic limited palette. And you really get a sense of the feeling of the color when you work with it that way, when you work in a monochromatic way, especially on a large scale. It really draws you in and you get, you get enveloped into the color. And so yeah, this is our rose quartz. Go to gaffreyartmaterial.com for your rose quartz heavy texture and your rose quartz deep, which is actually our medium viscosity paint. You have already recognized it's remarkably rich in texture. Designating texture. What do you mean texture? That's why it has such a silky texture.